The International Tennis Hall of Fame Class of 2010 is something special. Owen Davidson of Melbourne, Australia is in the elite company of just 12 people who have won a calendar year Grand Slam, which resulted from partnerships with Leslie Turner Bowery and Billie Jean King in 1967. His 15-year career is highlighted by 12 Grand Slam titles. Davo, as he is known, was a valued member of five championship Australian Davis Cup teams. Davidson remains an active competitor on the senior tour. Derek Hardwick of London, England is being inducted posthumously. While serving as chairman of the British Lawn Tennis Association in 1968, he took the bold step forward to make Wimbledon and all other British tournaments open against the will of the International Lawn Tennis Federation. This transition made it possible for both professionals and amateurs to compete in major tournaments, enabling athletes to make a living playing tennis and ultimately leading to today's tennis industry. Brad Parks of San Clemente, California is the pioneering founder of wheelchair tennis. During an amateur freestyle skiing competition, he suffered a disabling injury when he was 18. As recreational therapy, he began experimenting with tennis in 1976, and wheelchair tennis was born. Today, the NEC Wheelchair Tennis Tour comprises of 157 tournaments in 41 countries, exceeding a total of $1.5 million in prize money. Parks is the first wheelchair tennis player to be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Together, Gigi Fernandez and Natasha Zreva won an incredible 38 titles, including 14 Grand Slams. Fernandez of San Juan, Puerto Rico, was considered one of the world's best doubles players, capturing 68 career titles in women's doubles and attaining the number one ranking several times between 1991 and 1995. A member of the U.S. Fed Cup team, she helped lead her team to victory twice. Zreva of Minsk, Belarus, has 18 Grand Slam victories to her name. She won three of the four Grand Slams and doubles in the same year, four times. In her singles career, Zreva won four titles and was among the top ten players in the world, with a career-high ranking of number five in 1989. Australians Todd Woodbridge and Mark Woodford, known together as the Woodies, have been regarded as the most successful doubles team of all time, having earned a record 61 ATP doubles titles, including 11 Grand Slams. The duo was named ATP top doubles team five times, won two Olympic medals, have a Davis Cup record of 14 and two. Woodbridge of Sydney, Australia, currently holds the ATP record for most doubles titles in open era history with 83 wins. He spent 204 weeks at number one throughout his career. Woodford of Adelaide, Australia, holds 67 doubles titles and four singles titles and held the number one ranking for 84 weeks. Davidson, Hardwick, Parks, Fernandez and Zreva. Woodbridge and Woodford. Together, they are the International Tennis Hall of Fame Class of 2010.